Praise the Lord, children. Welcome to today's online service. My name is Teacher Judith. Throughout the last four weeks, we have been learning about work. I know you have been helping out at home because you've been sending us those pictures showing us what you've been doing. Let's take a quick look at what you have been up to. Yes, Abby, what are you doing? Sweeping. <laughs> are you doing a good job? Yes. What's the memory verse? Colossians 2, verse 22. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for God and not for men. Okay, what can I see? So you are sweeping and then Joshua does what? Collect. Okay. Hello Joshua, what are you doing? I'm sweeping. Why? Because I want to make the ground clean. Okay, are you doing a good job? Yes. Continue to send in those videos and pictures. Remember to plan for your work. P stands for plan. Throughout work, we fulfill God's plan for our lives. L is like God. Throughout our work, we are like God. A is for a better place. Throughout work, we make the world a better place. N is for needs. Through our work, we are able to meet our needs. A grand welcome to our first time visitors. You get to meet us when we are giving all the praise and the glory to God. Rise up, get some space, warm up a bit and release yourself to dance and have some fun in the presence of the Lord. Children, hands together. Eyes closed. Dear God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of mommy and daddy and all the other people who are at home. We pray that as we praise your name, as we dance for you, as we sing for you, may you come and be in our midst. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we have prayed. Amen. Oh God, children, say amen. I can't tell it in 
Sunday service today. My name is Teacher Mary and I have come with Patrick and Paul. But before we start, we are going to say a short prayer. Hands together. Eyes closed. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we bless your name for this morning. We thank you for your love for us. We thank you for the gift of life today. We pray that Father, you may speak to our hearts and Father, that whatever we are going to learn today, your name may be glorified, that we may keep your word in our hearts forever and ever. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So with me today, I came with something small. Wow, it looks beautiful. So Patrick is going to tell me what is in my small bag. Patrick, what is this? Money. It is money. How much is it? 5,000 shillings. 5,000 shillings. Yes, very good. And Paul, what is this? Money. It is also money. How much is it? It's 10,000 shillings. It's 10,000 shillings. Yes, I have a lot of money with me today. So guys, did you come with any money with you today? Yes. I came with 5,000 shillings. You came with 5,000 shillings and pal. And I came with 2,000 shillings. And you came with 2,000 shillings. Yes, it's good to come with the house of the Lord with money. And friends, another question. Where does money come from? From Patrick. a tree. From a tree? Yes. <laughs> really? Why do you say that it comes from a tree? I'm seeing money on a tree right behind there. Oh, right behind me. Yes, I see so many notes of paper. Wow. Do you really think money comes from a tree? <laughs> we are yet to find out. Okay, Paul, let's hear from Paul. Where does money come from? Money comes from the bank. From the bank. Wow, Paul has an account in the bank. Hey, okay, and where else do you think money comes from, Patrick? From our parents. From your parents. Mommy or daddy gives you money. Wow, I also got mine from my bag. Me, I get my money from my bag here. But yes, today we are going to learn about money. And we need to know that God gives us the wisdom to make money. So we are going to dive into the word of God and find out what does God tell us in his word about money. Let's take our seats. We are going to read from the book of Matthew chapter 25 from verse 14 to 30 and find out what does God tell us about money. Paul, can you read for us? Matthew chapter 25 verse 14 to 30. Again, here is what the kingdom of heaven will be like. A man was going on a journey. He sent for his slaves and put them in charge of his money. He gave five bags of gold to one. He gave two bags to another. And he gave one bag to the third. The man gave each slave the amount of money he knew the slave could take care of. Then he went on his journey. 
The slave who had received five bags of gold went at once and put his money to work. He earned five bags more. The one with the two bags of gold earned two more. But the man who had received one bag went and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money in it. After a long time, the master of those slaves returned. He wanted to collect all the money they had earned. The man who received five bags of gold brought the other five. Master, he said, you trusted me with five bags of gold. See, I have earned five bags more. His master replied, You have done well, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man with the two bags of gold also came. Master, he said, You trusted me with two bags of gold. See, I have earned two more. His master replied, you have done well, good and faithful servant. You have been you have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received one bag of gold came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man. You harvest why you have not planted. You gather crops where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid. I went out and hid your gold in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. His master replied, You evil, lazy slave. So you knew that I harvest where I have not planted. You knew that I gather crops where I have not scattered seed. Well then, you should have put my money in the bank. When I returned, I would have received it back with interest. Then he, his master commanded the other slaves, take the bag of gold from him. Give it to the one who has ten bags. Everyone who has will be given more. They will have more than enough. And they, and they will have... And what about anyone who doesn't have even what they have will be taken away from them throw that worthless slave outside there in the darkness people will weep and grind their teeth very good that was a slightly long scripture but i guess everyone has picked something small from it so i'm going to ask a question Patrick, according to the scripture we have read, what is money? Money is something given. Something given. The master gave to his servants. Paul, what is money? Money is something that can be used to buy. Something that can be used to buy clothes, to buy cake, to buy those nice chocolates that you love so much. And also, money can be in form of paper. It can be in form of coins, okay? And then, I'll also ask another question. Were all the servants given the same amounts of money, Patrick? No. No, money is given according to your ability. That's what the word of God is telling us. And guess what? Last month, we looked at work. And work is also done according to your ability. Now, the little ones may be asking, what is ability? Ability is how much you can do something. Your two-year-old little sister cannot do as much work as you who is five years, you who is ten years old. So money is given according to your ability. And we see something else in this scripture. Some people lost their money and others actually gained it. Paul, can you tell us who lost their money? The slave with one bag of gold lost his money. 
the servant with one bag of gold. He lost his money and it was given to even someone who had much more money. Patrick, who was happy with his money? The servant who was given five bags of gold. The servant who was given five bags of gold because he got more five bags of gold. So money is also something valuable, something very important to us that you can use to make more money and more money and more money and more money. And also in the story, we look at three important things that I want us to talk about today. Uh, Patrick, can you give me one of them? Money. Money, yes. We talked about money. Pal? The master. The master and Patrick again? Slaves. And the slaves, the servants, yes. So in our daily lives, we also have a master. Paul, do you want to tell us who our master is? Is it my father? No, 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 no. Patrick? Is it my mother? No, 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 no. Is it my big brother? Your big brother? I don't think so. Our master in our daily lives today is God. So we need to remember God with our money, with whatever he has given us. Patrick, can you tell me, how can we remember God with our money? By giving tithe and offering. By giving tithe and offering. When you give your tithe and offering, you're giving it to God, you're not giving it to the pastor, you're not giving it to your teacher, you're not giving it to anyone, but you're giving it to God. So again, we are going to see it being confirmed in the word of God in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, and it says, all of us here together, but remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. Very good. That is a very powerful and important scripture that we are going to memorize today so that whenever we get our money, we remember that we need to remember God. Okay? With my friends here today, we are going to say it again. One, two, three, we go. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. It says, But remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to, to produce wealth. wealth. Very good. Now, one more important thing. You cannot remember God when you do not know him. Are we together? Yes. Yes. We cannot remember something that we do not know. So you need to first know something and then you will remember it. So there are friends out there that do not know who this God we are talking about is. And I would like to lead you into a small prayer that will help you know this God that we are talking about today. So Patrick and Paul are going to repeat after me. And out there, if you haven't yet known this God that you are talking about, we are going to also repeat with me. Hands together. Eyes closed. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. For my life. For my life. I thank you. I thank you. Because you know me. Because you know me. I ask you. I ask you. To wash my sins. To wash my sins. And come into my heart. And come into my heart. And take control of it. And take control of it. I thank you. I thank you. Because you died for me. Because you died for me. On the cross. On the cross. And I receive you today. And I receive you today. As my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Wow, very good. So, my friend out there, you have just received Christ as your Lord and Savior. And I ask you, if you have a neighbor, if you have another friend who already knows God, you can ask them about this God. And here today, with our lesson about money, we have learned that money is something that can be given out to someone so you can go ahead and give your little sister some money if they do not have you can use money to buy something you can buy a gift for your parents for your friends for anyone and it is in form of paper and coins 
as we close our service today, I'm going to ask Patrick to say a prayer for us. Hands together, eyes closed. Lord Father, we thank you for the lesson you have given us. Thank you for everyone that is watching. I pray that what we have learned here will go into other people's hearts. I pray that the children have learned and you guide them as I thank you for guiding them as they were listening to our service. I pray that you give them wisdom to understand it. And just now I pray the amen. Here we close our service today and we thank you for watching us today. And here with us we say bye. bye. Teacher Mary, that was an amazing lesson about money. Now I know money does not grow on trees. Children, remember to click the like button, subscribe to our channels, and turn on notifications. To our dear parents and guardians, I encourage you to follow the link in the description box below so you can find the work for the learners for this weekend. Children, before we go, remember to wash your hands regularly, Sneeze under your elbow each time you're coughing or sneezing. Keep a social distance of two meters and eat healthy food. May you find favor before the Lord this week and enjoy whatsoever he brings your way. Have a blessed week.